Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Wednesday nights are the time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes from our area and thank them for their service. Tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Navy veteran Don Winchell. Growing up in small town Kansas, Seaman First Class Don Winchell would serve around the planet with the Navy, and he ended up having a front row seat to the end of World War II. Joining the service in the final year of the war, Don was looking to make a difference however he could. I was living at Lynn, Kansas. Uh, the, we, it was in a high school class of 22 total students, and three of us decided we wanted to aid the war effort, so we joined the Navy. And none of the three of us had ever seen a ship, nor had we ever seen the ocean. <laughs> Serving in the Manila Bay area of the Philippines, Don worked on a boat repair base as a deck hand. We lifted up a lot of different kinds of boats, but uh, mostly I, I would say uh, they were LCVPs, and that was short term for landing craft vehicle personnel. But it was a, it was a good little landing craft, but it was manufactured with a, a, a steel bottom, but the bulkhead was plywood. So if you get into a rough situation, a rough sea, why uh, they got holes poked in them quite often. But if we could pick those up, patch up the holes, give them a couple coats of paint, drop them back in the water, and they were good to go again. Keeping those boats operational took diligence around the clock. And I remember one night uh, uh, somebody run something into a boat, uh, knocked a hole in it, and it was going to sink. So they got us up in, about in the middle of the night, and we went down, and, and of course we skinny dipped <laughs> in, into the water, uh, about three of us, and, and, got, and we had to have an unusual skid for that particular boat, but we, we got it, got saved it from sinking anyway. Even after all these years post-service, the 97-year-old still takes great pride having served during a pivotal conflict. Well, I've always been proud of the fact that, that I was able to serve in World War II. I, I've always been proud of that and, and still am today. Through the GI Bill, Don went on to Barber College after his time at sea came to an end. He opened his own barber shop in Horton and barbered in that community for nearly 50 years. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. We highlight veterans in our community every week, just like Don. So if you know someone we could feature in this segment, please check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. And sharing their story isn't the only way we honor these heroes, because each week we feature the vet and they get a gift. Take a look. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, World War II veteran, Don Winchell, who served our country in the United States Navy. Thank you so much for your service. We're excited to present you the check for $500. If I may, I would like to pass this on to the Veteran Memorial Park that they're building in Horton, Kansas right now. It's, it's, a, it's got a museum with it, and it, it's a pretty place. Oh, fabulous. That is great. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.